got Wimbledon fever yet? I certainly have, which is probably just as well as I'm hosting 13 days of live coverage on BBC television. Now, you wouldn't want to miss a trick, would you? So the Radio Times is the guide to all the action. And if you're working all hours or simply enjoying this great British summer, then you've simply got to get a copy. In an outstanding offer, Radio Times is giving away this three-hour tape to video your favourite programmes while you're away. Yes, that's right, a three-hour tape, absolutely free. Radio Times. If it's on, it's in. Even if you're out. Suspense. <laughs> Romance. I love you, Zoe. Surprise. Surprise! And vegetables. Is that an aubergine or is that an aubergine? A ratatouille of an adventure, May to December, Tuesday, 9.30 on 1. In half an hour, the Paul Daniels Show. First on one with a few tricky questions up his sleeve. Les Dawson and Fast Friends. <laughs> Quickly, the weeks fly by. <laughs> it seems only an hour ago that I was here. <laughs> Strange out of time. And it's very sad because this is the last show in the series. Aww. And I'm filling up. <laughs> I've never worked on a show that goes so smoothly. <laughs> and... <laughs> well, all I'm going to say is thank you for joining me tonight for the last in the present series of Fast Friends! <laughs> <laughs> The atmosphere in the studio tonight is electric. There's a short on a plug. <laughs> Here's our assembly of friends, called once again from the studio audience and people who've written in to take part in the show, here to play Fast Friends. Now, each side of us, each part of the assembly, has selected a team leader. Who's your team leader on this? <laughs> right, yes, <I'm> <laughs> oh, yeah. Deborah. Lewis. Yes, and what do you do, Deborah? I'm a teacher, languages and classical guitar teacher. What language did you teach? Uh, English, French, a bit of Latin. I try. Because um, uh, I, I, I love school. When I was yeah. a kid, I was in a class by myself. Yeah. <laughs> I wasn't brilliant, I smelt. <laughs> you have got 30 seconds to smell out four fast friends, right? Yes. So let's have those seconds across the bridge now! <laughs> like an Eskimo, and what's it, and Jerry? There they are. <laughs> OK, 30 okay. seconds, you're right. going to find four fast friends. But first of all, two sets of questions, A and B. A, please. You're going for A, we'll keep B then. If your head is across the OK, 30 seconds to go. Now, there's the first question. How many seconds do you think? I think I'll need about eight, please. You think eight for yes. that? Yeah, well, it's, it's, it's tricky. Eight seconds on the clock, please. Wonderful. Wonderful the way that thing works. Right. <laughs> Look at your friends. Yes. I know exactly how you feel. Who are we going to select? Who are we going to choose? I'll start with Steve, please. You're going to start with Steve? OK, over you go to Steve. OK, Steve. Yes, thanks, guys. Are we getting on the F plan? No. Uh, yeah. Steve? <laughs> I should talk, I know. Upon which island is Mount Etna? Don't know. No, no, quickly. Sic Sicily. Sicily. Yes! <laughs> Have a look at that one. How many seconds do you think? Seven, please. Yes, it's a tough one. Seven off, please. Look around at your fast friends. They're all rooting for you. Uh, okay. Who do you think? Who are you going to select? I'll take Sue. You'll take Sue. Off you go to Sue. All right, Sue, you're in the hot seat. Okay, love. Yeah. Here we go. What colour light is shown on a ship's starboard side? Blue. No, no. Oh, green. Yes! <laughs> There you go. A little nautical flavour there. There you go. You're doing very well. I would half your seconds anyway. Yes. Roughly. Text. 
Eight, please. Take eight. Eight seconds off the clock. Thank you. Now look at that very carefully. Now select Will. Who looks highly intelligent? I think Ron with the glasses looks quite intelligent there. Do you think so? Yes. He looks like a boiled owl. <laughs> <laughs> OK, go for Ron, then. All right, Ron. In which year was the Queen's Silver Jubilee? 1977. Yes! <laughs> oh, ho, ho! Oh, ho! Oh! Oh! Nice to meet some of the academic leanings. Yeah. Absolutely. OK, take the last seven seconds off, please. You need one. OK. It's going to be tricky. Have a look. I'll take Dawn. You're going for Dawn. OK, off you go for Dawn. OK, Dawn. Here we go. Lovely outfit. It's like talking to a lawn. <laughs> <laughs> Which country's flag displays a Union Jack and four red stars? Russia. Never, no. Never, never. Never. New Zealand. New Zealand. New Zealand. New Zealand. <laughs> Right. Four fast friends. Go and join your four fast friends. Way. <laughs> Hello, Melba. <laughs> OK, you're the stuck with B. The B team will call you because you've got the B questions. Who have you selected as your team leader? Hugh David. And you're from? From South Wales, from Carmarthen. Oh, it's a beautiful part of the world. It's lovely. Every time I go to Wales, they keep a welcome on the hillside. Yeah, that's true. They won't let me in the dig. <laughs> <laughs> right. Can we have the seconds across the bridge, please? <laughs> Thank you, but too much ice for me. Now then, there's a question. It's quite easy. Right. Um, I mean, you have to really be bony. <laughs> yeah, that one. Uh, five seconds. Five seconds off, and I don't blame you. Five off. Thank you. Have a look at them. Pat, yeah. please. You're going for Pat. Off you go. OK, Pat. Which astrological sign is the bull? Taurus. Yes! <laughs> well done. Well, that's smashed only five seconds now. That's good. How many seconds? Uh, seven, please. You think seven for this? Seven seconds off the clock for you. Okay, look at your fast friend. You've seen the question. Who do you think? Uh, Michelle, please. Go for Michelle. All right, love. Yes, Les. What is the capital of Sweden? Stockholm. Yes. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Not an easy one, unless you're a, a fan of. The gentleman. OK. Um, Victoria. You're going for Victoria, but how many seconds first? Uh, half of those, please. Yeah, take half... <laughs> oh, <geez. laughs> yeah, well, ta take half off. <laughs> I can't remember now. <laughs> right, you. <laughs> OK, and it's Victoria, Victoria, you said? Yeah. You're after all the girls, aren't you? <laughs> I don't blame you. Off you go to Victoria. All right, Victoria. Yeah. The title of which Shakespeare play Refers to January the 6th. 12th right. night. Yes! Right. Okay. Yes! <laughs> right. Take the nine seconds off and you've got plenty of time. That's a weird one. Who do you think? Uh, Brian. You're going for Brian. Have a go for Brian then. Right, Brian. What kind of animal is a pipistrelli? Sit down. Not quickly! Bird. No, no! Yes. Yes. Snake. No! Yes. Dog. No! Bat. Yes! Okay. It's a bat! <laughs> there you go! Good time, good team. Well. Quite an unnecessary recap for you, Deborah. Of course, we've got full house of four fast friends. <laughs> and you, my friend Hugh, you have got a full house as well. You've got four fast friends. <laughs>
But before we go any further, let's have a brief word with our newfound fast friends. Hello, Cathy. Hello there, my Love that top. Thank you very much. Do you have much trouble with green fly? <laughs> <laughs> Cathy. Cathy McGreal, and I'm the manager of an antique shop. Really? Yes. Are you into antiques? No, not very much. <laughs> the mother-in-law bought me a chair for a birthday present about three years ago from an antique shop. It must have cost a fortune. She was really annoyed when she plugged in and it fused. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Rob. You look very Alex. healthy and Thank trendy. You. Thanks. Rob. Troughton, and I work for, um, I'm a flight attendant for an airline. Do you enjoy the job? Uh, yes, I do. Do you like the airline flight? <laughs> yeah, I love it. We, came, we came on a charter flight. Well, we're not charter, but it was just the regular scheduled flight the other day down to do the show. And we landed far too fast at Heathrow. You can tell there was a nun next to me who found a rosary bead had jammed. <laughs> <laughs> and halfway down, he did a loop the loop. He said, how was that for skill? He said, half the people on the ground thought we had an accident. I said, half the people of here have just had one. <laughs> Hello, Ron. Hello, there's Ron. Ron Johnson, and I'm a customer service supervisor at Heathrow. Really? Yes. <laughs> right, <Boss>. Adrian. <laughs> nice to meet you. How are you? My name's Adrian Cooper, and I work for the London Stock Exchange. It's a great job, though, isn't it? Oh, lovely, yes, very nice. Love that hairstyle. Yes. You put your finger in the plug directly. No. Okay. <laughs> right, that's the crew cut. Here we go over there. <laughs> Hi, Pat. Hello, Les. I'm Pat Babbage, and I'm an admin manager in Life Assurance. Do you think jobs like that are a premium? <laughs> premium. <laughs> so good, isn't it? So good. Hello, Michelle. Hello, Very nice. Yes. What happened to the other buttons? So? I'm Michelle Steele, and I'm a mother and housewife. Well, I can't argue with that. Now, mm. Mrs. Tossed a pancake last week. Don't know what she's done with it, we use it now as a pelmet. <laughs> Hello, Victoria. Hi. Where's your bike? <laughs> so. I'm Victoria Hazel, and I'm a student. Student of what? Politics. What are you into all that? Well, I'm a dancing barmaid as well, you see. Just a minute. <laughs> <laughs> you're studying politics, but you're a dancing barmaid? Yeah. Well, I can't say much more about that. It's no wonder this country's going down the pan. Hello, Donald. Hi, Liz. Get me out of trouble, Donald. What do you do? I'm Donald Barker. I'm a local government officer. Oh, God bless. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right. Now, this is round two, and this is the multiple choice questions. And will you step on your marks, please? Thank you. Now, this is, we're getting to the serious stuff now. One wrong answer for many of your fast friends, and they're going to the dump duck. OK? However, I can throw you a lifeline. In other words, if, for instance, Ron got something wrong, you can save him by you, you answering the question. If you fail, he still goes. At least that's your lifeline. And if the captain gets the answer wrong, you lose a teammate, cos you two can't be knocked out. <laughs> See? So, I mean, you're sacrosanct in that sense. It's the others who suffer. After the three rounds, the captain with the most friends is the winner. OK? You ready? Right, here we go. Now, start, ladies, first. Your team, Deborah. Yes. Right, Adrian. What would you find in an apiary? Gorillas, bees, or birds? Bees. Yes, you would. <laughs> According to superstition, if a bride meets a pig on her journey to her wedding, she will have good luck, have bad luck, I'll be pregnant within a week. <laughs> Have bad luck. Yes, you will. Yeah. <laughs> a strange thing, that, isn't it? I think Bacon wrote that. Now then, Rob, <laughs> the figure of justice at the Old Bailey holds in her right hand scales, a sword, or a Bible? Scales. No, 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 that is unfortunately wrong. However, here's your chance of a lifeline. Do you think he's worth saving? Uh, I'll keep my lifeline for later, please. Be gone, Rob! Oh, sorry. Be gone! You've been dropped like a hot brick into the dump duck. In actual fact, it's a sword. <laughs> All right, Cathy, yes. now settle down, don't be worried. <laughs> In the film Lost Horizon, what was the name of the mythical land where time stood still? Was it Shangri-La, Dunroman, or Baidui? Shangri-La. Shangri-La it was! <laughs> Where time stood still. I thought it was Woolworths. <laughs> right, Deborah. 
When Mary, Queen Mary made the comment, here's a pretty kettle of fish, she was referring to food rationing, the outbreak of war, or the abdication crisis. The abdication crisis. Yes, it was! It was indeed. I do a good impression of Queen Mary. <laughs> yeah, it was the point of all this. The part of life which tapers to what I'm worried about. OK, Don. A young seal is called a calf, a pup, or a cub? A uh, pup. Yes, it is! <laughs> Victoria, my love. A fistful of dynamite was the British title for the American film Duck You Sucker. <laughs> Hallelujah, I'm a bum. Three blind mice. Three blind mice? <laughs> no, but however, all is not lost. For Hugh, with his magnanimity, could save you with a lifeline. Do you think she's worth saving, or...? I'll save my lifeline for the moment. Be gone, Victoria! <laughs> Be gone! Thou hast plummeted out of grace into the dump dock. As a matter of fact, she was <laughs> duck you, sucker. Right, I've got that out of the way. <laughs> Michelle? Yes, sir. You've got a touch here on the green. <laughs> Are you playing snooker, bowls, or golf? Golf. <laughs> no, dear Michelle. You have a lifeline. Do you wish to employ it? Yes, I'll use my lifeline. You'll use your lifeline to save Michelle. It's actually, it's bowls. Three Stockholm couples were thrown out of the first night of Old Calcutta because they weren't concentrating on the show, they were demonstrating against the nudity, they thought they had to be in the nude to get in. They thought they had to be in the nude to get in? Yes! When they sat down, it sounded like a round of applause. <laughs> right, Pat. The most expensive food in the world is caviar, truffles, or mock turtle soup. Truffles. Yes, it is! <laughs> I want to know that, Mr. because nobody knows the truffles I've seen. <laughs> <laughs> It's nothing like a laugh, isn't it? <laughs> that was nothing like it. Are you ready, Hugh? <laughs> You're entitled to claim a new ball. Are you playing croquet, cricket or lacrosse? Lacrosse? No! No, 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 no! Be gone. Be gone, Donald. Be gone. <laughs> Thou hast been disgraced, lad. As a matter of fact, it's cricket. <laughs> OK, Adrian. Looks like Abraham from there. Lawrence Olivia's first stage role was playing have a panto horse, a girl, or neither? Neither. <laughs> no! No. You've still got your lifeline, haven't you? Yes. Now, do you think he's worth keeping? Yes, I do. You do. You I'll definitely take do. It. Right? So you're saved. Actual fact, he played a girl, do you believe? He was a dame before he was a lord. <laughs> right, now, you have to answer this to save. Okay. Adrian. The kiwi is the only bird with nostrils which are situated. On top of its head, behind its ears, at the end of its bill. At the end of its bill. Yes, it is! <laughs> You're true and wrong. Instead of kissing, people from Samoa touch each other's knees, <laughs> smell each other, rub noses. Rub noses. No! To the dump duck thou goest. <laughs> Goodbye, Ronald. <laughs> they smell each other. <laughs> God, what a world we live in. <laughs> right, Cathy. Pope Adrian VI died when something stuck in his throat as he drank from a fountain. It was a tap washer, a fly, or a coin? A coin. No! <laughs> Be gone, dear heart. Be gone. <laughs> Thou hast seconded yourself to the dump dock. Actually, it was a fly. Fancy trying to swallow a pair of trousers. <laughs> <laughs> right, Deborah? Yes. 
I'll try. Whose film career was ruined for not wearing underclothes? Was it Jean Harlow, Carmen Miranda, or Marilyn Monroe? Carmen Miranda. Yes, it was! <laughs> I thought it could have been Nicholas Parsons. <laughs> <laughs> Nicholas Parsons. <laughs> Michelle. Yes, miss. Attila the Hun died on his wedding night, on the toilet, <laughs> on his 21st birthday. On his wedding night. Yes, he was. <laughs> now then, Pat. Swiss guards protect Swiss banks, the Pope, Swiss government. The Pope. Yes, it is. <laughs> it's not so much a job, it's more like a Swiss roll. I don't know you, you. McGrew. Kaiser Bill had a withered nose, right leg, left arm. Right leg. <laughs> no, I'm sorry, Michelle, I must go. Thou hast been doped in the dust. Go, plummeted to the depths of degradation. That's it, was his left arm. <laughs> you could have given any answer then and got us off the air. <laughs> right. Well, it's looking a bit better now, to each. OK, Adrian. I'm ready. Every other animal in the world has two. The elephant has four. And they are ears, nostrils or knees. Knees. Yes, you're quite right. <laughs> And the cheapest limb replacements to be found are in Africa. Well. Because you can get two apneys for a penny. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't it make you feel glad you're half alive? <laughs> right, Deborah? Yes. Thank you for that. Can you run around? <laughs> Conan Doyle, the creator of Sherlock Holmes, was, by profession, an undertaker, a doctor, a detective. Was he a doctor? Yes, he was! <laughs> All right, Pat? No. <laughs> As the sighs die down and silence once again envelops us, the Italian Santa Claus is a winged horse, a woman, or a white reindeer? A woman. Yes, she is a woman! <laughs> Did you get... I don't know that in a million years. Hugh, Princess Margaret is Princess Michael's sister-in-law, Princess Anne's niece, or Princess Alexandra's cousin? The first answer, Princess... Black Prince Black Michael's Black. sister. Oh. I'm sorry, goodbye, Pat. Oh. Be gone, child of nature. Thou hast been done. Well, that's it. I declare Deborah the winner. Yeah. <laughs> But well, never mind, you don't go empty-handed on this show. You're taking with you something that you can treasure for the next fortnight. <laughs> and it's guaranteed for a week. It is, of course, each of you gets a compact camera. <laughs> and if that wasn't enough, a Fast Friends address book. <laughs> For the winning team, of course, you each receive, hold your breath, a pocket television set. Oh, wow. In living colour. How about that? And the batteries are in a little truck. <laughs> and you also get your fast friends address book. Yes! <laughs> This is the climax of the show. It's round three for the big prize. <laughs> it's the shifting shed. Now, in this round, your team can earn cash, extra cash for helping you to find the right answer, so use them wisely. Wisely and well. What lies beyond the screen, I ask myself? Well, there are eight famous women. Now, seven of them have been awarded damehoods. 
One hasn't. You've got to name those seven to win the holiday. The seven who did be, have been awarded Damehoods, OK? It's a wonderful holiday. If you've never been to Alcatraz, you'll love it. <laughs> now, who do you want to snap first? I'll take ladies first. Kathy, please. Kathy, take a choice. Judy Dench. Judy Dench! Yes. Yes. That's your choice. I think she's right. Kathy is your friend, and yes. she says that um, she did. What do you say? I you go along with it. that. Okay, Judy, are you a dame? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> and 100 subs into the bin, and into your linen, too, my lass. There is nothing like a dame now. Uh, Who else? Rob, please. Rob. Uh, Vera Lynn. Vera Lynn! Yes, definitely. Will you meet her again? Do you promise? Do you think so? Uh, <laughs> yes, yes, it is. Yes. She's a dame? Dame Vera Lynn, yes. Vera, are you a dame? You yes. said yes. The tune of 25 stripes winging their way in various directions, right. Now then, who else? Kathy again. Kathy. Anna Neagle. Yes. Yeah. Anna Neagle. Yes. Anna Neagle. Yes. 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 Even I know that. Anna Neagle, <laughs> you are you a dame? She was. Yes. Twenty-five. <laughs> Twenty-five pound over there. She and she was a great lady. Now then, get down to the nitty gritty. There's five. Two you seem unsure of. She was a wisely a fast friend. Rob again, please. I'll say um, Peggy Ascroft. Yes. yes. Peggy Ascroft. Yes. Yes, 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 definitely. Right, you're, you're agreeing with Rob? Peggy, are you a dame? Yeah! 25. Yeah. All going towards your holiday, 25, and of course, over to there. Now then, it gets trickier and trickier, doesn't it? Ron. Kiri Tikanawa. Yeah. Yes. 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 yes! You're going to take, you're going to go for it? Go for it. Right. Listen. OK. Kiri, are you a dame? Yay! <laughs> he is indeed. And you have 50 songbirds going in either direction. Now it's getting very, very close to the dramatic apex of the show. Adrian. Adrian. I'll try Edith Evans. Yes. Yes. Edith Evans? Yes. 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 I think you're right. Edith, are you a dame? Yes! I haven't the foggiest idea I could help you in any way. It all hinges on this, whether you have this wonderful holiday down a pit or what. <laughs> now then, you've got to choose very wisely. I'll go back to Ron, please. <laughs> Ron, you're in the hot seat for her. Barbara Cartland. I think you're right. Yes. What do you think? Are you going for that? Are you taking Ron's advice? Yes. Go on, go on. Right, you're going for it. Yeah. Barbara Carlton, are you a dame? Yes! Yeah. 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 Not bad. Not bad. Yeah. Well done, Ron. Nice rubble winner on the last of the series. Thank you. 300 pounds goes over to your fast friends and to yourself, plus the TVs and the address books. Now, yeah. for the biggie. Where are you going? I don't know. Well, <laughs> reveal the venue, if you will. You'll certainly need to pack your shorts for this special super sun-filled fast friend holiday of a lifetime to Bermuda. <laughs> Smashing contestant, good luck. Thank you. Thank you. Smashing team. They certainly help you, your fast they, friends. They should All be. the fast friends have been great. Our studio audience has been smashing. Thanks for being here with us on our last show. And also to the viewers at home, thanks for the support throughout the weeks. All I can say to you all is good night and God bless and have a nice time in Bermuda. <laughs>
good morning, sir. I am the piano tuner. <laughs> I didn't send for a piano tuner. I know. Your neighbours did. Hit the high notes with Little and Large next Friday, 7.45 on one. It's Paul Daniels now on one, conjuring up some of the very best of his magic show. <laughs> with Illusion Magic. Dem bom dem bom dem, dry bom dem bom dem bom dem, dry bom dem bom. 